In one of my last videos, we generated some photorealistic models. The only problem I see is they seem a little too still and quiet to me. I wish they were doing some TikTok dances. Wait, what am I hearing there? Okay, I'm just kidding. Hey, I'm Toby from Visual by Toby, and in this video, we will bring our newly generated AI models to life. Here's a side by side comparison of real and fake from the videos of the intro. While it's not perfect, it's insanely good. This not only works with AI generated photos, but also with a photo of any person really. We will be swapping faces from our AI model onto a video. This method is also called deep faking and it has never been easier than now. But as a little disclaimer, remember that taking somebody else's content without their permission might get you in trouble because it violates copyright. Always make sure that you're allowed to use the content. There are many sites such as Pixurbay and Pexels that offer free content for you to use. At first, we'll need an image of our model or subject, such as a target video of a person where we will put our model's face onto. Right now, for testing purposes for this video, I will use one from TikTok, as I don't plan on publishing the outcome. When choosing a video, make sure that the hair color, body type and other significant features match the look of your AI model. I took one of my AI models and enhanced her with Korea AI. Now that we have everything we need, let's jump into the actual fun part, the creation process. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying the video so far because I really put a lot of work and effort into making them. And if you're new here, a sub to the channel would be amazing. Now back to the video. We'll be using Roop to create our deepfakes, but not the basic version of Roop. Instead, we'll be using the version Roop Unleashed, which comes with an easy to use user interface and many more cool features. If you want to use Roop Unleashed yourself, I've made a separate video about the setup process. I will leave a link to the video in the video description below. Inside Roop, you can see two boxes in the middle of the screen. Put the image of your AI model into that first box. And wait until the software detects a face in the photo. Then put the video that we're trying to put our model's face onto into that second box. Scroll down to post processing and select a post processing method in the drop down. I personally recommend GFPGAN or GPEN. And also select an image blend ratio. What value to choose here highly depends on the input video. A value of 0.65 is a great starting point. You can experiment from there. Usually videos with lower resolutions tend to work better with lower values. When you're done, click the start button. Of course, this also works for images. If this video was in any way helpful to you, leave a thumbs up. And also, if you got any questions, write them down below into the comment section. I will see you in the next video. And here are some more videos you can watch. What about this one? Ooh, I like that.